City of New York has produced some really tough dudes. Sugar Ray Robinson, Iron Mike Tyson, Simon and Garfunkel. So naturally, the sport of boxing has found a perfect home here. To talk more about the sweet science, I'm gonna go to the gym with a boxer friend of mine who by the end of the day today will probably want to kick my ass. So I am a licensed New York tour guide. Thank you, thank you ladies, please. I'm also a comedian who knows the people and places that make a city interesting. So let me show you around. Please help me welcome my friend who's a native Lower East Sider, a professional comedian, amateur boxer, and all around dirtbag, Sergio Chacon. So you're a professional comedian? Yes. You ever had to uh, uh, punch a heckler? No. Uh, what about a comedy club booker? No. Yeah, I guess, why would you do that, right? Okay, so I, I brought us here to Mendez Boxing in the Flatiron District, because this is a famous gym here in New York City, okay. but it's also where we first met. That's right. You remember that? Yes. Hey, man. That was some rad punch out there. Shut the f up. Joyce Carol Oates once said that boxing is so perfect of a psychological and physical test of endurance that boxing isn't a metaphor for life. Life is a metaphor for boxing. Mm, that's interesting. And it's also nice just to be able to punch someone in their face legally, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so should we uh, train a bit? Let's do it. Generally, you're gonna start your boxing workout with a little light jump rope. Nice and easy, smooth. Why is this a good exercise for boxers? Oh, well, agility, actually. Mm -hmm. Rhythm and timing. What would you say to someone who says that jump roping is for middle school girls? What? Uh, I don't think so. Well, here's a question. Who do you think's better jump roper, me or, or Serge? Come on, it's me. It's me, of course. The heavy bag is perfect to work on your power. Yeah, you really want to hear a pop. Dear God. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, the speed bag is not really meant for speed. It's really meant to develop shoulder endurance and to train you so you can keep your hands up high. Loser. You know, as great as it is training in a boxing gym, what I love the most about it is the stories. Ah, definitely. You sparred with Muhammad Ali. Yes. When he said I was sparring with him, I thought they was joking. I got in the ring with him, so I'm like going there. So he said, come on, man, throw punches at me. You know? Then you knocked him out. No, nah, I ain't knocked him out. <laughs> Ali had more respect than president and government of the states, you know. That's not really saying a whole lot, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your advice to someone if they ever got into an altercation in the street? What would be the best thing for someone to do? When you're a professional fighter, right, your hands are licensed, so you really can't hit nobody with your hands. So hit them in the head with a stick, <laughs> and then... <laughs> All right, so you heard that uh, from a boxer, hit the other person in the head with a stick. Uh, you're kind of the gym uh, cut up here. Do you think uh, there's anything funny about boxing? No, I think boxing is the ultimate truth. And I think people make a lot of discoveries about themselves when they get punched in the face. Here's a quick trivia question. In how many seconds could you kick my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to kick your ass for wearing this outfit, but... What's wrong with my outfit? I mean, this is, this says Williamsburg. You got the Jeffrey Dahmer haircut. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty good haircut. I mean, I'm 30, but I'm 30. So this is a good haircut for that. ¿Cuál es tu cosa favorita del boxeo? Pues la energía que trae la gente eh, me hace sentir bien cuando hago boxeo. Desde que tenía 13 años, mi hermano me llevó a un gimnasio de boxeo y me gustó y bueno, pues todavía lo sigo haciendo, sigo practicando. Vos sos un actor también, saliste en un, en un show, en un show de Joe Pera. Joe Pera, pero sí, me invitó Joe Pera y tú me invitaste. Es una experiencia muy bonita ver tantas cámaras como ahorita que yo no sé qué es eso. We have, we have a clip here right now. There is Quito. What's your favorite thing about the sport of boxing? Well, it's a sport where you discover who you really are. You're in the trenches and 
that's part of life and when you come here to train you learn a lot about yourself. Yeah, you know, Custom Auto once said that the hero and the coward feel the same fear. It's what they do with the fear that separates them. Very true. It's a pretty good quote, right? It, it is, it is. So, Joey, just by looking at me, what type of boxer do you think I could be? Spectator. Funny guy, funny guy. Do you have any last words for the, for the camera? No, just, uh, hey, thank you for the publicity, representing boxing and getting yeah. it out there. And for us, it's very, very special. And you have to know that world, be in that world to completely understand it. There will probably be a few hundred people who see this. Oh, well, very good. What better sport to encapsulate New York's resilience than boxing, where the entire objective is just to stand and fight? It's a sport that's had an audience since the ancient Greeks because it is the purest embodiment of man's eternal dual struggle with his world and himself. Man, shut up. Man, you know what? I've had enough of you, man. Let's go. Oh